The president is of effing embarrassment, John Legend hits out at Trump after president's confrontation with Jim Acosta at the White House. John Legend went in on Trump tweeting the president is of effing embarrassment, following a heated exchange during a White House press conference between the president and CNN's Jim Acosta. The All of You artist didn't go into specifically what he finds embarrassing about Trump, however, the tweet was sent 20 minutes after an outrageous press conference that saw Acosta asking the president about calling the caravan of migrants who are hundreds of miles away an invasion. Trump then snaps that's enough at the journalist as a White House intern appears to try and wrestle the microphone out of Acosta's hand. Acosta then tries to ask about the Russian investigation, to which the president repeats his staid response it's a hoax, as Acosta relinquishes the microphone to the intern. The president regresses to name-calling during the exchange calling the veteran journalist a rude terrible person, you're a very rude person, the way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people, Trump scolds Acosta. CNN received several pipe bombs from a self-proclaimed Trump fanatic last week. CNN issued a statement condemning Trump for his ongoing attacks on the press's following Wednesday's press conference. This president's ongoing attacks on the press have gone too far, reads the tweet from CNN Communications. They are not only dangerous, they are disturbingly un-American. While President Trump has made it clear he does not respect a free press, he has a sworn obligation to protect it. A free press is vital to democracy, and we stand behind Jim Acosta and his fellow journalists everywhere. During Trump's combative press conference on Wednesday, however, he did manage to pat himself on the back for the success of certain candidates post-midterm election night. We saw the candidates I supported achieve tremendous success last night, Trump boasted. We picked up a lot, he said. Dailymail.com spoke to the executive producer of Modern Family, Danny Zucker, who has had his fair share of Twitter exchanges with the president. Zucker explains that the Hollywood circle gets particularly incensed when it comes to attacks on the press. I think that Hollywood community is sensitive to the attacks on the press first and foremost because we understand that without a free press you have fascism. Zucker, who currently has a book on the topic of Twitter and Trump, titled, He Started It, My Twitter War with Trump, adds more specifically, this is a man who has had no problem making Hollywood the enemy, with the exception of superstars like Scott Bio and Antonio Sabato Jr. Tejan was blocked by the president previously. In May a judge ruled that Trump is no longer allowed to block followers on the social media site as it violates their right to free speech. Having been blocked herself last year, the model, 32, could not help but glowed about the news on her own Twitter and poked fun at her upcoming reunion with the president. After the news broke, Tejan shared a clip of a television report about it with her 10.6 million followers. She teased the president in the caption by writing, Well 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 we meet again at Rialdon Aldrump.